the comments. We have uh, Chris Stites from Hamilton County Parks Department. You'd stand the podium. Yeah, we got to record Thanks, you. Chris. Yes, sir. Uh, Chris Dice, Hamilton County Parks and Recreation Department. First off, I'd like to thank the township for their service and investment in parks and recreation here in this township. It certainly uh, is uh, um, neat to see and rewarding to see the investment that you are uh, putting into our community and identifying that it is essential. And so thank you for doing that. Um, generations from now will benefit the work that you have put in, so thank you. Um, <clears throat> one of those projects that uh, um, our community is able to benefit from was the Clay Township Children's Pavilion and Coxhall Gardens. And as part of that uh, uh, completed project here this past April in 2021, we were able to uh, finish those shelters there at Coxhall Gardens and as part of that, um, in working with our community and Marion, uh, we identified that uh, sort of some directional signage would be very helpful to get us uh, in the public uh, to that facility. And so we put together a plan that would help complement uh, what that structure looks like. Uh, earlier uh, last year, we were able to get a donation by uh, Pat McAfee for a bronze statue out in front of the Clay Township Children's Pavilion. And so to help complement those bronze statues, we thought it would be really unique to have an entryway with another bronze type statue and some signage to help complement that, as well as identifying um, the township's um, contributions to Coxall Gardens and for this. And so what we're requesting is, and as part of the information that you have there. It is a request for $25,000, and this would encompass the bronze statue and directional signage that would be for that entrance into the children's garden area. So if you have any questions, I'd Chris, be happy to Chris, can you those. describe the, 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 I can't really see the sample where it's written over it. Could you describe this statue to us, what it's looking like or what it is or? Well, we have a couple of options that we've uh, discussed. One of them was uh, children playing on a large type structure or a tree type structure. And then this sample structure is more of an artistic uh, eagle structure. Structure. So no decision has been made by our park board on what that uh, would look like, but uh, we're tracking in sort of those two options. Is that similar to the one that's there now? Correct, yeah. So there would be two matching? Uh, they would be similar. They'd be parallel to each other, yeah. We've identified a supplier that was Bronzeman, and so we want to have them parallel each other. However, since we've started pricing them out last year, the prices went up substantially, mm -hmm. and so we're, we're evaluating which vendor we would provide, which one we would get it purchased from based on funds. So, I mean, th it went up almost $5,000 from last year. So, yeah. With the, the pavilion, I've not been out there, Chris. I apologize. With the new pavilion, mm -hmm. is it being used a lot now, or, or how is it, how's it working? Or Absolutely. Tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, so our pavilions, there's two of them, which are next to each other that can be used independently or at the same time from different sizes and capacities. It can hold anywhere from 100 at each shelter or as a combination that can get up to 200 or in that space, we can get up to 300 people in that space. And so people have started renting it. It's rented for $250 for one of the shelters uh, or they can rent them independently or simultaneously. And uh, it gives people another option for weddings or special events. And so, yes, those are being used. And they are the only shelters that are rentable at Coxhall Gardens. We have our tent and our mansion, but these are actually the only like park-like shelters that we have there. Now, 
We also have on the ends of them, we have a fireplace, a custom made fireplace that people can use and grill on, which is really, really cool and unique, so. Um, you forgot to mention the most important part. It's the pergola that, that goes yeah. over and, and puts them together. That was yeah. my idea. Yeah, the pergola is gorgeous, yeah. yeah. I just had to throw yeah. that in. But it was, I thought it was, when they decided that they would do it, I was really thrilled because when you go out there, it just looks wonderful yeah. with the connection between the two. Yeah. So you're requesting 25000 and that will take care of the statue, <laughs> shipping, footers, landscaping, the metal signs. How many metal signs are you getting for 200 bucks? Well, there'll be one that would be in part of that uh, landscaped area. Okay. And we will be redoing the landscaping of that entrance. And then $1,000 for the recognition plaque. Yeah. That'll be a solid bronze recognition pl plaque. Doug? <laughs> Yes. You were the one who brought it to our attention, and we are passing this off to you. You're passing this off to me, okay? <laughs> are you asking, do we have money to pay for this? Are you? That's a good question, yeah. Do we have money to pay for this? I mean, well, we have money to pay for it if, if you guys want to approve it. That's for sure. Um, uh, so this statue is going to go in the location here. Correct. And the signs are metal signs. What what kind of signs are they? Is it something that's so we end up util utilizing what is considered a max metal kind of sign, and those are just industrial standards that are metal, and we can graphically design those to meet our graphic and directional package for Coxall Gardens. It's not a generic looking sign. They'll be custom designed and, and have a look and feel that, that will meet our standard. I, I would like to see that, a sign, give me a, an idea of what the sign's going to look like. Yeah. And they're going to go in a couple places. Is that the, what I'm seeing here? In that entryway at that intersection on the loop road of, the, um, of Coxall Gardens. Okay. That's where that main sign would go, yes. If and you guys and are, I'd be happy to okay, have you, it over drafts for you guys to approve prior to us a, manufacturing it. So. Okay. If the board wants me to move on with this, there are some things I would like to work out with you sure. uh, to make sure we're getting what we want out there. I mean, oh, I'd absolutely. like to see it. Yeah. Uh, so, it's board, if you are passing that on to me, I, I'd be happy to take it under advisement and, and move along with the uh, county parks. At this time, um, I think it's a recommendation of the board that we, this is within your guidelines to be able to, to donate, isn't it, 25 up to that? or? Yeah, I mean, uh, we, we can do that. We, we can do that. We're it's going just, to I just pass this on to you too. Because you had mentioned that you could do that. Yeah. And he was looking for someone to do it. And so I suggested that he bring it to the board. Okay. And the board tonight talked. So you're, then you're going to move it to me. Okay. Yes. Right. <laughs> okay, Chris, I'll, I'll get with you. As long as the board approves it, that I move ahead with it, with this, uh, we, we'll get together and look at the signs. I just want to see, have a vi I'm a visual person. Absolutely. I, I've got to see. I mean, when you say a sign, it, it, I maybe think of, of something that's for sale out here. You know, Absolutely. I, I need to see it. Yeah. Okay, so if you can do that, Oh, I'll yeah. be happy to share that with the board, and uh, we can move along. Yeah, Th that's Isn't easy for us. We, we do that for all of our production. That, that you use that type of sign is because if you use anything different, it could come down mm -hmm. with the I first kid that climbs on it. Or yeah, we will make sure that it is structurally right. sound and safe. Yeah. This is one. Doug, we have to have a motion on this. You know, it's not on your agenda, so okay. I don't know that I would do that necessarily. But if you if you're recommending, you certainly give the sense of the board to the trustee to proceed. Okay. You want us to tell you now? I mean, we sure. we've talked it over, and we would like very much to do it, but we didn't feel that it was a a vote for us because originally it began when we talked a while ago when they were talking to us about continuing to finish the signs and everything out there for the children's garden. 
that's what we put out there, and, and that was why they wanted to mm -hmm. come to us. Okay. So it sounds like the board is recommending the trustee to move forward. That is correct. Here's the recommendation, Dad. We're, we're recommending you this to move on forward with you on your approval of the signage and everything else. Like okay. That. I can do that. Okay. I'll share it with you guys once I get Great. the information. Great. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Chris. Great. We'll no, thank you. Thank you very much, yeah, Chris. I appreciate you guys. Thanks for all you do. Information items, Doug. You know, I don't. The only thing I really um, would like to share with you is is the uh, Carmel Link on the 2022 scheduled construction. Um, <laughs> before you guys, if you haven't got this, you need to need look at all the road construction. Um, uh, projects that's going to be going on because your constituents might get a hold of you and say what's going on and what to say the one at, at medical drive in south range started south range line is 147th roundabout it started this week yeah. and then they're going to move down to 116th street by summer and it'll take us to the fall to get that one in so yeah, going across 116th street aren't yeah. they and back well down westfield my husband and, and I college. walked downtown today, and that is just a perfect mess mm -hmm. down there by Muldoon's. Yeah, yeah. But I, I, I'll make copies if you guys, in case you don't have this link. I think it's in, important that we all have it because uh, I'm sure we're going to get some questions. And uh, so before you leave, we'll Could make you a copy have, for you. just scan it to me? Yeah, we can do that. We yeah, can scan it to, it to that's me. That's fine. Okay. That's great. That's probably best. So I don't okay. lose it. Sounds good. Right. But that's it. And uh, we financial questions. I don't have them. Not this time. Board comments, Mary. Thank you for coming. It was, it's short and sweet, but I'm glad we were able to send Matt on his way. Certainly, um, very happy that Chris Dice came and made the final pitch to finish the whole children's garden. I thought that was really mm -hmm. important. So thank you very much for listening and taking care of that, Doug. Mm -hmm. We appreciate it. Hey, enjoy the nice weather right now. <laughs> Maybe it's, it's the winter's gone, we hope. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, Put our porch furniture Announcements. <laughs> Have done. Next board meeting? May 17th, 6 p.m. Uh, motion to adjourn. I so move. I'll second it. Approval. Hi. Time is 6.20.